This is Coach Lee, and this video is for people who think that their ex is never coming back. Remember, I do this a lot, and I've seen this a lot over the last 20 years, and so I'm operating from a much larger frame of reference than you are. So I hope that it gives you comfort when I say that I see a lot of exes come back and in situations that are not ideal. Just yesterday, for example, a man told me about his wife wanting to leave him and how he just applied what I said and figured he might as well trust it because he doesn't know what else to do. And it worked. It's been a few months, so this is not like, well, it, yesterday she wanted to leave and then today she says we'll work it out. No, this is a decent amount of time where she's committed to the relationship. So these things happen all the time. That's just one example of thousands that I've gotten over just the last few years alone. And sometimes people will say, you know, in the comments section, I see a lot of people who say that it's not working, that they're having trouble with it, or that it didn't work. And that's true because if it does work, they're probably not really watching my videos anymore. And they're not commenting. They just are kind of living their lives. It's kind of like when you go to the emergency room. You don't expect to see a bunch of well people, a bunch of people who are just feeling great. And you don't say, well, everybody at this emergency room is sick, so clearly they don't know what they're doing. That's not what you say, and yet I will continue to see people in the comments say, well, I don't know if this works because I see people in the comments saying that it's not working for them. What's really happening is, is that it works for a lot of people, and I'll hear about a small percentage of it, but the rest of them, maybe they're appreciative, maybe they're not, but they're living their lives with their significant other now. Things are going well. They have no need to get on my YouTube channel. And so they don't comment. It's the people who are still needing help or maybe even have just been broken up with. Sometimes I'll read a comment and someone will say it's not working. And then I'll later see a comment from that same person and they'll say, and it's been a week. And I'm thinking they need to watch my videos a little bit longer to learn some of the time frames on this. So when you're having trouble, just say to yourself, Coach Lee sees it work a lot. And I'm going to choose to believe that it can work and that good things will happen. Speak back against that negativity. The truth needs to be said, whether it's believed or not. And so you tell that negativity, speak to yourself and say, it works a lot. Or Coach Lee wouldn't have told me that it works. And there's other coaches who I get to interact with. Sometimes we speak together at different conferences. Sometimes we email each other and they tell me the same thing. This works a whole lot. The second thing I want to tell you is all you can do is all you can do. A lot of what bothers you is this sense that you need to be doing more, that there's something else, some secret, some magic words, and you just haven't found them yet. You just haven't figured them out yet. And so you, you sit there and you have all this anxiety and frustration and dread because you think there's something out there that you could do that could get them back quickly. And I understand why you feel that way, but hear me on this. Time is part of this equation. As I've said before, it's like baking a cake. You don't put it in the oven and think you can turn the heat way up and get the cake faster. You might, but it's not going to be good. It's going to burn in places. It's going to be uncooked in places. It's going to fall apart. It's going to be a disaster because you rushed it. Just like birthday cakes and fine wine, it takes time. Time is part of the process. Remind yourself of that daily, that every day, you are doing more of what you should be doing because you're letting more time pass. Good job. Keep that up. Tell yourself that. And before I get to point number three, get some more information on my emergency breakup kit. Don't put it off. This is a powerful guide and it can help you get your ex back. It can answer a lot of these questions and it can give you some encouragement on days of doubt, at least some direction. The link to that is in the description below, or you can go to myexbackcoach.com and get that information. Point number two transitions well into point number three in terms of doing all you can do. Think about it this way. All this effort, all this emotional pain, this devastation that you're going through, sometimes it feels like it's more than you can take. And I want to ask you, do you want to be with someone who would do this to you? And stay with me on this because I'm not saying you shouldn't try to get your ex back, but I'm saying that when all is said and done, you will have either gotten your ex back and they have learned a lesson that they missed you. They don't want to be away from you, that they feared losing you, and then they are willing to work on it. Or you don't get them back, in which case there's less doubt in terms of the future and what you have to deal with with this person because... Point number three, you don't want to be with someone who doesn't 
want to be with you or isn't sure, who adds drama and stress and difficulty to your life and makes you feel undesired, unwanted, and unsure of your future with this person. The best relationships are peaceful with each other. They don't challenge each other. You know, that's kind of a cliche. I want someone who challenges me. No, you don't. You don't want someone to challenge you. You want someone to love you. The world's going to challenge you. You're going to challenge yourself. There's enough trouble. You don't want trouble from the one who's supposed to love you. So no, you don't want someone who challenges you. You want someone who loves you. And you know what? Your job in a relationship is also to love the other person. Not to challenge them. Not to change them. Not to try to make them better. Your job is to love them. And that's what you want from someone else. Their job is to love you and not to make life difficult for you. And so try your best. Even if you have to fake the words, say, this could be a close call. I could be being blessed by losing this person, even though it's very painful. And in the moment, I don't want it. But later, I could look back on this and say that was a close call because I would have married that person or I would have stayed with that person and I would have been miserable. So if they've left, sometimes it can be that you are that much closer to the person who would not leave you and wants to work on it and wants peace and wants to give peace to you and love you and not try to mess with your head, play games with you or make you feel like you're not desirable or wanted. So it's a win-win no matter what happens. You get this person back, hopefully that's a win. Hopefully they've learned something. If you don't get them back, you are that much closer and you will recognize some of the signs. You will know better in many ways going forward and you are less likely to have to go through this again. And I know that one of your concerns is how can I show this person that I've changed if I'm in no contact? And I have a great video on that that's in the end screen here. It's really the next one you need to watch after this one because I talk about a lot of details that will be important to you. So watch this next video here in the end screen on how you can show your ex you've changed while still staying in no contact and not hurting your chances of getting them back. This has been Coach Lee, and as always, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.